Welcome to this new episode of Let's Go See It. Today we're in Thornburg, Virginia at Indian Acres and we're going to bring in the 4th of July. As you can see, there's going to be fireworks, there's going to be lots of people, there's going to be a fun entertainment. I'm going to show you what 4th of July in Indian Acres is all about, so stay tuned. Thank you for joining me today. My goal and desire is to inspire you to go out and see the world and I'm excited to see what Indian Acres has to offer on the 4th of July. There is a parade that kicks off the 4th of July celebration and it's led by the Spotsylvania Volunteer Fire Department and they'll give you a tour of the truck and they lead the parade of golf carts and we're gonna show you what that's all about. For all holidays at Indian Acres, there's usually a host of events and activities. The best way to get up to speed as to what's happening is to ask for an event calendar, a printed paper, when you come in at the main entrance. As many of you already know, Indian Acres is a fun, friendly, family environment, and they kick off 4th of July and start the day out around 9, 30, 10 o'clock with a parade and it's a golf cart parade so what they do is they lined up several hundred golf carts and they then decorate them in American themed flags or colors and things like that and they drive down the main strip of the road and throw out candy to kids who are on the side oftentimes kids are on the golf cart throwing out candies uh, or kids are on the side of the street and they're collecting candy and we're going to show you what that's all about. If you're considering buying a property on Indian Acres, check out my channel. I do a series of interviews with owners who have been in the property sometimes for decades, and they'll tell you what their experience is like, and it'll help your decision-making process as to whether or not this is the right space for you. Hey. About half the people you see in these videos actually own the property. They come to Indian Acres periodically, especially for the big holidays like the 4th of July, Memorial Day, and Halloween. The other half visit, and you'll see in the interviews, quite a few people say, hey, this is my first time, or I come only come with the owners for um, the, the celebration, but it's a fun, festive family environment. Everyone is friendly. It's one of these places where people wave to you every time you walk by them, or if you drive by the golf cart, you're just waving all the time. People go there to have a great time, and and it's actually infectious. In just a moment, the parade is gonna start. What they're doing right now is they're lining up the golf carts by order of the Glen. So what they do is they find out what Glen has the most golf carts and there's a prize for that. And there's a lot of different trophies that they hand out just to make it, just to make it fun. If you decorate your golf cart, and a lot of people you can see put a lot of effort and time into making their golf carts look spectacular. Some even pull floats and uh, it's usually all related around the theme of patriotism and the birth of the nation. And and you'll see lots of flags and lots of different decorations and it's a fun thing for kids to do and even the adults all enjoy and it's something that they look forward to every year and as you can see it's a big deal. Now we're on our way. I would say that this parade is for the kids, but if I were to say that, that would be a lie. The reality is adults enjoy this as much if not more than the kids. A lot of adults who are Indian Acres are retired. They don't have any kids of their own, but they enjoy riding the golf carts in this long procession of 100 or 200 or more golf carts. And they throw candies out to kids who are on the side of the road and the kids love picking up the different uh, candies. My kids have left with bags of candy. That's how much candy they get. And it's just a fun way to celebrate and bring in the fourth. These golf carts are all making their way up to where the town center is. That's for lack of a better word of describing it, but it's a big teepee area. Um, and uh, what they do there is they line up and then they, they you know, count how many golf cart represent the glens and uh, they hand out the prizes and there's a big yard sale and you'll see what that's all about in a few minutes up at the top of the, um, the, the top of the hill. Yeah. 
This is the yard sale I was telling you about. It's at the top of the area. It surrounds the TP uh, tent and you have dozens of vendors. I would say half the vendors are professional sellers. They sell something every week somewhere. Uh, the other half are people from Indian Acres who are looking just to get rid of stuff that's cl cluttering up their either their house at home or they're cluttering up the, the property here on the acres. But it's a great uh, time to get a deal and to find something that you didn't even know you needed until you saw it. If you missed your chance to get a tour of that fire truck, you get a second opportunity at the top of the hill. They do hand out prizes to different glens and individuals uh, as far as who has the most decorated, who has the most golf carts and a lot of different prizes. And it's all supposed to be in fun, but some people take it so very seriously, you know, but it's fun to see their reactions and, uh, you know, their disappointments and their frustrations and everything else. Uh, again, it just a great way to bring in the fourth. If you're not familiar with Indian Acres, a lot of activities take place in what's called the rec center. And right across in the rec center are two swimming pools. And both of them are, ten, are open doing the fourth because so many people are there. Uh, they have a deeper end for swimmers and of course a more shallow end for people who can't swim. And then actually they have a total of three different pools because they have a kiddie pool. I forgot about that. But it's a, you can see people are having fun. Right in front of the rec center uh, is a volleyball court and everything is happening happening on uh, the 4th of July. So you can go to the putt-putt course, you can play basketball, you can do everything. It's getting dark and the day is coming to an end and you can see folks lining up early so they can get a good spot to see the fireworks display. The fireworks, I'll talk more about that later, but there's usually a band and the band is usually pretty good and you can enjoy live music on the grounds. This is a putt-putt golf course right next to the rec center, and it's usually pretty good. I don't know if they paint it every year, but it's bright colors and it's in good condition, and people love coming here and doing the putt-putt golf. So it's got fun, nice, free family activity, and also everything that you're seeing here, the basketball, the putt-putt, whether you're playing volleyball, if you're a member, all of this stuff is free and included, to, you know, and this includes the pool, the playground, the rec center, so it's a pretty good value for the money. It's my goal and desire to inspire people to go out and see the world. Whether you live at Indian Acres, you're visiting, or you've never been here before, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what some of your suggestions are. If you have never seen a fireworks show at Indian Acres before, you are going to be impressed and surprised. I've seen fireworks at major metropolitan areas, and in my opinion, they don't come close to what happens at Indian Acres. Just a quick note for those of you who want to visit Indian Acres, a reminder that it is a gated community and only folks with invitation are allowed on the property. <laughs>